Despite being a silent but dangerous killer, diabetes remains one of the most underestimated amens. A development medical practitioner say could be dangerous in the quest to pull down the ladder of the increasing rate in developing countries. This concern, however, is shaping discussion as the world observes Diabetes Day. Nigeria being the most populous country in Africa has more than 3.6 million people living with diabetes. This is according to the International Diabetes Federation Atlas. The battle for the future, however, has to do with reducing new cases against the projection of 135% increase by 2045. It is not too much carbohydrate that causes diabetes. It's too much calories, especially calories from refined food. We need to turn our backs on the fast food outlets. One of the key factors crucial to translating these winning formulas to tangible results, medical practitioners say, is found in understanding risk factors and getting tested at every given opportunity. Unless you screen, unless you check, you do not know. So it's very important for us to not wait until when you are having, you know, the the complications, like maybe things like, you know, eye problems, like diabetic foods, like, you know, uh, kidney damage, before we start, you know, working towards you know, uh, coping the problem. Since diabetes has no physical or outward warning signs, the neglect is understandable. But in correcting this trend, the focus has since 2021 shifted to better access to quality diabetes education. We need to change our lifestyle to move around more. Every adult, every person needs to do at least 10,000 steps per day. You will say, doctor, how can you measure 10,000 steps? People's phones have apps that can measure the number of steps you make. In the face of brain drain in the medical field, what then are the options available for diabetes care? People that have diabetes can have a digital way of assessing doctors within the hospital emergency. And I think those are new areas that our hospitals should be opening up now. Uh, now that we have the advantage of, um, of uh, telemedicine and all of that. Medical practitioners say incorporating diabetes tests in all aspects of human activities, right from antenatal to the workplace, will help to change the prediction tide 